Get it behind me. You stupid thing. You are busy playing around with my mind. You don't know I know who you are. And the Bible said the devil left him. The greatest undoing of Satan is for you to know him. Once you discover him, he is finished. And that's why he will fight you from coming to teaching like this. Because he knows that if you keep hearing this teaching, he won't be able to do you that thing again. And that income he's collecting from you will no more come. Am I teaching good here? It's the same devil. It's the same devil. Be sober, be vigilant. Your adversary, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He goes about. And we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. We know what he does. We know what he's capable of doing. I mean, imagine Paul enters a city in Acts chapter 16 and one girl just begins to follow Paul. Hear him, Kiria, Kiria, Kiria. Urarare, Urara, Ogea, Erekata, Ratobele. This man be the man of the most high that show us the way of salvation. Is that not correct? It's correct. Paul is moving. Oh, she's following him. I'm prophesying. If it is you, now somebody do you. I hear a man. That's my name. I hear Udeme. That's my mother. I hear Orukana. That's my village. They are finished with that. They are finished with that. <laughs> How is your name and your village a revelation? Are you not a fool? How is somebody telling you your name, your mother's name, and your village? And that is a revelation. Ah, ah. Are you that empty? Please gather a little substance. I beg you. That's what exactly the girl was doing. And that's where many of you get caught up. Somebody, somebody in New York here told me that some people came from one prayer house to, his, to, his, to the hospital where he was in a hospital bed. I used to go and pray for him. He had a, a disease that took a bit of time in the hospital. So after I prayed for him a few days, he was getting better. Then he said that they sent some people from the village to come and pray for him. And I know that these are soothsayers. They are diviners. They, they have witchcraft. So they came to his hospital bed and did they did all kinds of funny things. Then they entered under his bed and brought a pot and showed him. They said, what he's doing is inside this pot. And that blew him away. When I came, he said they came from the village. Very powerful team. I said, so the one I'm doing for you is not powerful. You were dying. You were almost in coma. I prayed you to where you recovered. Where at least you started walking. Medication is helping also. You are not dying again. Then you brought people from your village to come and be bringing pot from under your bed. That is magic now. How many of you have watched magicians before? They can bring a bed out of nothing. They can make money start falling. It's magic. Don't be flabbergasted. That is not the power of God. It's magic. They did magic on him. And he got flabbergasted. And he told me they are very powerful. So I told him, okay, I won't come again. Keep them coming. Two days after he died, they came with their magic. That's how he died with them. That's how he died with them. I feel sorry for him. But I can't keep coming and magicians are coming. No, two of us can't be coming now. You choose what you want. He chose magic. They took away his life. Because the devil cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's how that man went. He saw pot. What is pot? Are you a fool? Haven't you seen a pot before? Haven't you seen a pot? So she went around doing that. Bible says she did it for two days. Brother Paul is a very nice guy. Patient for two days, the girl is following you around. You know why it took time? She was using it to advertise her business. So that people will know that if she is telling the truth about Paul, when they have problems, they should come. It's marketing. 
Bible said the next day. I'm sure brother Paul came out that next day for to you know have having shocked in the spirit. He came out charged. The Bible says when she started, Hiriama. Paul said, hey, stop that. Out. The unclean spirit left her, and then she became normal. She could no more profess her. Her master told her, do it again. And she said, I can't do it. Do it again. She said, that man, the thing he said, the thing have left me. <laughs> her masters that were making profit got angry and organized for Paul and Silas to be arrested and put in prison. The evil spirit moved the government to arrest them and put in prison. It is that encounter where Paul, even in prison, prayed and the place shook and the same power of God brought them out of prison. Am I communicating here? Yeah, you must be able to discern. You must be able to discern when the spirit of God is moving and when an evil spirit is moving. They are not the same. And if you are born of God, you will know the difference. 